Let's learn how to make one material transform into another material or reveal another material from one to the other very easily to kind of do these cool transitions to showcase different materials or like reveal a product or something like that. So let's just go ahead and get into it because it's super simple and straightforward and all within the note editor, which is pretty cool. And you can copy and paste it across any materials you want. Hey, what's up? I'm Derek Kirk of Effectatron, and today we are going to do this cool kind of PlayStation controller reveal. This will work on anything. The PlayStation controller is from CG Axis. Uh, CG Axis has a lot of really cool models. They don't have Redshift support, which is a big bummer, but a lot of their stuff, not this one, but a lot of their stuff does have C4D support, And um, but beyond that, uh, it actually has substance materials. So a lot of the materials are actually substance, which just direct imports straight into uh, Redshift and C4D. So those are really cool. So definitely check those out. Um, I use those quite a bit. But yeah, this PlayStation controller is from CG Axis. You can check out their link below. Uh, but yeah, so we'll do this quick reveal from the materials that I have here on here, which I kind of created. It does come with the texture maps and stuff to get these little icons and stuff. But the rest of it is uh, just basically my materials I've thrown on there. Uh, from my packs and stuff. Okay, so the easiest way to explain this is basically you have two copies of your object. You've got one that's going to be the visible and the final product basically, and one that is kind of the um, material that you're going to start with to cover it up and then reveal that one. Okay, so let's start off with just the DualSense controller here. And we've got this one with all our materials on it. Now, when I want to reveal it, I could, you know, use opacity and that'll kind of reveal it from invisible to visible, but we want to go from like one material to another. Now you could go into the material blender and blend that up uh, as well and go into that and do it that way. Um, but there, you might run into a few issues. There, this way kind of um, makes it so that it works better because if you try to go into like this controller and you have to go into each one of these materials and apply the same effect to the material blender and blend it all in, I want to do like one blanket reveal right that's what i want so we're going to set that up but we're going to use basically max on noise animated with opacity but there's a weird thing with opacity where if you know you'd think if we just you know copy and paste our dualsense controller and we'll come over here and we'll delete uh, all of these materials and we'll put one on that is um just like got a transparency so we'll go material we'll do open pbr that's fine and we'll go in here and we'll do like a, we'll type in noise, we'll hit C, type in noise, grab a max on noise, drag that in to here and go down to geometry, opacity, okay? And so inside right here, we can see that. And let's just go ahead and clamp this down a little bit. So we're gonna take our high clip down and our low clip up, and that's just gonna make it more dramatic so we can see that. And so you can see here in the actual material, if we scale this up, you can see it a little bit better. It's just like pockets of white and then nothing. So we take that, put that on here, and we should see these like pockets of nothing appear uh, and reveal the controller beneath, right? But it doesn't work like that. It, it just overrides everything. Uh, so like if we come in here and we make this noise smaller, like say 25, you can see it doesn't actually reveal the controller beneath it at all but if we put the controller on top of it and then hit you know refresh it renders that one instead so <laughs> the order in the hierarchy is here so how do we actually fix this well it's just like this weird and then you got to refresh it again if you swap the order back and then it goes back to that one so it's just kind of this weird rule that c40 has with opacity and maybe it's redshift um, but basically if there is opacity there on top it trumps anything that's in that exact same space so instead of being like just erasing it it just makes it opacity so all we have to do is somehow slightly move it just a little bit so that it's not exactly in the same spot and so we're going to use the new thicken modifier to move it like 0.0001 centimeter away and see if that fixes it right so with our one that we want to be the revealing one that's the one we're going to add the thicken to so hold alt let go on thicken, and it's going to start off with a default of 10, but we're going to say 0.0001. And now you can see it's still there, so maybe just 0.001. Now we see it. Okay, now we're seeing it kind of be on top. Now if we were to make this a little more obvious, where let's just take the color and make it like bright red. Now you can see we have the... Where's my mouse going? We have the red on top of our controller and if we zoom in here you know really zoom in we can see it's not like floating or anything because it's such a small amount you're not going to be able to tell that it's uh, different 
So there we go. So that's how you do it. You have to add like a tiny bit of thicken. And so now let's talk about creating that cool like edge that's like um, kind of this like fiery or like sci-fi edge that I had. And then how to animate it so that it goes from full to revealing, right? So this is like a, this is kind of a neat way to add like spray paint. And obviously this works beyond just max on noises. If you want to go into uh, Photoshop or After Effects and, you know, create some kind of like artistic reveal, then just use a black and white map uh, and just anything. Or any, if you don't even want to reveal everything, you just want to like pulse out. You could use a ripple effect, all kinds of stuff. Um, so there's a lot of ways to use this to just kind of give you cool animated textures on top of something. This is a cool way if you want to just like add some char on something like that. It's just an easy way to do that without having to uh, mix it into a bunch of individual materials. It's just one blanket material over top of it, which is pretty cool. Okay, so uh, let's say we'll come into here and let's say, okay, I want to use this, um, but I want to use it on like a material I have, right? Okay, well, let's just copy our noise grab a noise and let's use like a mermaid this mermaid material I have okay so inside of here we'll toss this on the thicken delete that right put that on the thicken let's make sure that is set to cubic so it's all the same there we go and then we can tile it a bit 20 by 20 cool there we go so now whoops kind of blurted out too much I do have denoising like cranked okay there we go so we've got this kind of cool mermaidy tile on here and so all I have to do is inside of that material which is nuts, we'll hit shift L to organize all of that. I don't know why that wasn't working. There we go, so now we've you know arranged them all. Okay, so all we need to know is, we need to know if the opacity is taken. And if opacity is not taken, we're golden. We just hit control V, paste that in there. We forgot to copy it, control C. Go back in here, control V, there we go. And plug that into the opacity. And now we have that mermaid you know over top of that and we can adjust this we can change the noise type we can adjust the scale the size all that stuff very cool so we have this kind of nice organic way um, we can you know, scale it one direction a lot more give it these kind of like crazy stripes across it if you wanted to I don't know you can you can you can get ideas of how to create like 3d printed stuff or whatever you know like this kind of transition reveal you don't have to use a noise you can use whatever you want you could use um, patterns anything right so that's kind of the cool thing but noises are cool and we'll talk about um, just some ways to animate this so we'll do a little bit bigger 25 but there, you can see we've got kind of this cool thing and that was all we had to do. Okay, so let's do something that everybody has. We'll go type in concrete. We'll grab this cool concrete, drag it in from Redshift and slap that on our thicken. Boom, looks pretty cool just like that. So we can double click that and you can see there's nothing in the opacity there. Hit Control V to paste our noise in there and just plug that straight into that. Boom, so now we have this concrete reveal and let's go ahead and do it like it's like burning away or maybe we should do wood that might be kind of cool let's just do wood let's type in wood and let's do right, let's grab this maple wood this is not behind the max on one paywall toss that on there looks pretty cool pretty nice little finish let's add a little uh coat to that i always like to have a little lacquer on my wood we'll crank that up a smidge and a little bit of that there we go. That looks nice. Maybe just a smidge more. Smidge is an actual like measurement. Measurement, by the way. Uh, no, there we go. Okay, cool. And we'll make sure that's on cubic. It is. That looks good. Cool. So now we're gonna like burn that away, right? So again, inside of this, we've got nothing in the opacity layer. We're gonna take our noise and plop it right in there. Boop. Cool. So now we have that noise kind of eroding away. So now let's animate it from frame zero. We want it to be completely white, right? And then we want it to fade turn into completely black so it reveals the entire controller so in order to do that we just need to kind of pick the noise we want i like to do uh probably turbulence and then we'll do inputs and we'll do like maybe 50 so they're a little bigger like that but i don't like how like soft it is like it's very feathery like obviously you could do this to like throw some paint or dirt or something on something really quick which is kind of a nice tip as well uh, but there we go but let's go ahead and just clamp that down so there's two ways you can clamp it uh, you can clamp it down straight up in the noise itself here with the low clip and the high clip 
Uh, and what I like to do, like I say, 0.5 and 0.5, and it's gonna be like straight. No rough edge at all, but I do want just like a, a tiny bit. So we're gonna bring it down a little bit. So one is like right below 0.5 and one is right above 0.5, okay? So we have like a tiny bit of feather. And then on top of that, you can add a ramp node to kind of control that even more. All right, that's, that's basically it, right? So we're gonna do this, but then we need to create an edge. So how do we create this cool like red edge like it's being burned on or something like that? So all we have to do is actually add that ramp in here. So we're gonna type in C and then type in ramp. And we just plug that right in. Uh, but we actually want to bypass that. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna make this like red, like orangish red. Okay. Whoa, what's that going? We're gonna make that reddish orange. Why is that color not? We'll make that red. And we're gonna take that and plug that into the emission color. Then we need to go in here to the emission weight. Okay. And we can say like five. Now, obviously that's like too much. That's burning everything. We want to clamp this down. Clamp, clamp, clamp. You can tell like right now what it's doing is just kind of clamping down the edges, but we don't want the edges. We want right before the edge, right? So we're gonna hold control and move this black one over to the very, very edge. And now with this little pocket here, we have this like red ember look. And we can slide it up a little bit more. If we're getting too much into the wood, we just keep sliding. And sliding and sliding until we get it just how we want it we can slide that one down there we go so now we just have this red edge and we can slide it up a bit maybe more very small little amounts boom just like that pretty cool uh, we can maybe get more and i think the other key to this is if you do have that little bit of variance here in between here you can get a little bit more of that to be kind of red right it's like just a tiny bit more there we go and then we can move this just ever so slightly down and there we go we can crank it up a bit more like that cool just a little bit you can see per percentages if you don't want to you know dial this little knob in you can be like 99.8 you know when that's too much so 99.6 perfect right that's good nice so that's pretty cool and that's kind of this cool way so now we, whatever we do to this noise it's going to affect it and it's going to kind of link to that all the way across so if we now come in here we go back to frame zero and we'll animate the low clip and the high clip so basically right now i kind of want this to be kind of that um midpoint so wherever like halfway through the transition you want it to be that's kind of where i would go because i like to set it up halfway through um, and and work backwards from there versus like um, starting at zero and going up Right, so we're gonna start here and I say I like that. So we're gonna go back frame 60 out of 150 We'll keyframe that right here We'll go down to frame zero and that is where we'll say Zero and zero and keyframe that so now that's completely wood and if we go up to 120 That is where we'll go all the way up to one where it's completely gone and keyframe that so now, uh, if you click through here, you'll kind of see, you scrub through, it's going to dissolve away and burn away that controller. I think like the wood here is pretty silly. I've just already did the sci-fi, but let's, let's do the sci-fi. So you set it up and you don't like that first material. Easy fix, right? You, all you have added is a ramp and a max on noise. And then you've also adjusted the emission value. So copy your noise in your ramp and let's go ahead and find like um do you have any sci-fi yeah i've got a white sci-fi metal here from my 400 material pack we'll throw that on there i might need to scale it we'll see no that looks pretty cool a little greeble um cool all right so we're gonna open this up paste it in and remember the ramp goes into the emission and the max on noise goes into the opacity so that goes into that and this goes into the emission color and we will need to adjust the emission weight Again, like maybe five, there we go. And so now we have kind of that sci-fi reveal. And to make it more sci-fi, we'll just change this red to like this cool cyan blue, which is always what sci-fi is, right? And let's go ahead and change the color of our material to be kind of a darker steel like that. Boom, cool. Right, so now it's gonna go 
from all completely greebly to transitioning into whoosh, the color. And lastly, all we do, let's go ahead and come into here, do it in here, is add that um, bloom to this to really make it pop. So if this is our object here, we can add some bloom, lower that threshold down. And if you're not getting, if you're getting like too much of your actual controller glow, but what we need to do is just increase the emission value. So maybe not five, maybe like um, 15. Go crazy with it. And come in here, oops. There we go. So now we can dial that in and get that glow exactly how we want it. Boom, and that will just transition from one to the other. So pretty cool way to, you know, transition from one thing to the next. Now, I mean, this would work, you know, if it wasn't the exact same shape, I guess, as well, if you just put like a cube over top of it, or a sphere. So yeah, this will work, you know, on anything. If you just wanna put a sphere over top of something to reveal like an egg <laughs> hatch, whatever, this will totally work. And there you go. Now you have this sphere encasing this controller and it will, you know, evolve away. And if you don't like these little edges, you just got to go in here to the um, material and instead of our ramp, and again, just kind of clamp that up in the opacity. And again, what you can do is just add a ramp there. If you don't want to mess with values, P, and then use that to kind of clean that up a bit like that. Boom, so it has a very hard edge. Right, pretty cool. So yeah, you can reveal things, grow things, obviously do it in reverse order to cover things up. That's pretty much it. So hopefully that's kind of giving you some food for thought for using um, things inside the node editor and stuff to generate these cool edges and things and reveals. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things you can do with that. So let me know. Uh, what you guys want to see next and uh, thanks for watching see you next time